2004 was an incredible year for racing games. So many timeless classics such as Burnout 3, Need for Speed Underground, Flat Out, Richard Burns Rally, Gran Turismo 4, Street Racing Sin- Wait, what? Street Racing Syndicate. I- I can't say I recall that one. What? is Street Racing Syndicate. Sexual Reassignment Surgery. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure about that one. Street Racing Syndicate is a multi-platform racing video game produced by EU... E oh, Jesus Christ, what is that word? Fucking hell, I'm not Shakespeare. And released by Namco on the 31st of August 2004. SRS initially received publishing support from the 3DO company. While the game was still in development, 3DO declared bankruptcy and auctioned off SRS along with its other assets. Namco picked up SRS for 1.5 5 million. Fucking hell, you got ripped off. It's only two pound on Steam. Need for Speed really struck gold whenever they released the original Underground in 2003. Many game developers would go on to try and create their own rivals in the street racing video game craze of the PS2 era. Street Racing Syndicate was just one amongst the lot. But somehow I had never heard of its existence until now. Or to put it simply, I was unfortunate enough to come across it in the Steam store. So yeah, I could be playing Need for Speed Heat right now, but no, this is what I decided to spend my time on. Before we get into this, however, if you are new around here and would like to see more infrequent examples of weaponized autism, then welcome to my channel. Please do- <laughs> What a fantastic way to advertise myself. Weaponized autism. Please do subscribe and drop a like in the video if you enjoyed it. It would be greatly appreciated. Starting off, we will load our profile, eloquently named Fuck. Immediately in the menu screen, we are greeted by a bunch of lovely ladies and a number of options. Of course, the sign in option looked a little bit too intriguing and it uh, crashed the game. Loading it up again, however, we're going to jump straight into the campaign. The cops popped Eddie last night for street racing. No way. Man, if we don't run, I'm out three G's. What? Okay, check it. You're racing in the GTR today. I don't know who you are. It. Okay, so there's a woman and there's there's this arcs. Oh my god, please stop with the turbo noises. Jesus Christ, all I can hear in the background. <laughs> The first race was very exciting, but despite the absolute intensity of what was going on, Fuck managed to pick up his first win. <laughs> Our character's called Fuck. Now there's um, no way I can physically begin to describe what I next experienced, so instead I'll go ahead and ask you. Let me know in the comments, this is very important stuff. Is it A, the replay functions brilliantly and has no issues whatsoever? Is it B, the replay is actually comprised of several different camera angles of which use visual filters the developers found in Windows Movie Maker? Or is it C, the game is in fact so good that it set my PC on fire, triggering a massive gas explosion and killing me in the process. <laughs> God, I wish it was C. So I bet you're wondering which one it is, right? The answer's A. Oh shit, I got that wrong in the script. I cannot stress this enough. I have not edited this. This is actually how the replays are. We just have to roll with it, alright? Here's your split. Yeah, yeah, cheers. The car list isn't exactly large, but then again, neither is my chromosome count. I ended up choosing the Mitsubishi Eclipse, and this is where I found the auto customize feature. And also where you find out why this video has no ads on it. Finally, we're in the city. Except we aren't, because we actually have to go customize first. <laughs> Sound design, isn't it great? Apparently this game has somewhat of a damage model, which kind of came as a bit of a surprise. I tried. Ah, so here's the game's map. It's not exactly the biggest, but it's alright for its age. In the progress tab, we find Hiroshima and Nagasa. Unique cars, videos, races, challenges, girl... Are you fucking kidding me? What kind of videos are we talking about here? Is it YouTube Red or Red Tube? I began a street race with some random guy in a VW. It was a hard fought battle and after many obstacles it came down to the second to last corner. In which he forgot where he was going. Can you shut the fuck up please? I then found a cruising location. It's a pretty cool feature where you can... Look at your car, like, uh, with your eyes and, and stuff. I continued with the campaign a little bit more, and the AI seemed to be incredibly easy. So I decided to do another street race, but this time I would follow the rules of the road for the entire run. Yeah, I won that too. Then came the race that would change everything. Despite everything that I've showed you so far, the AIs actually seemed to be able to put up a fight whenever they used more powerful cars. But rather than simply showing it to you, I'm going to commentate over the replay, except every single time the movie maker filter changes, the music and my commentary will also change. This video is going down the drain so 
quickly. And they're off! Okay, so the Mitsubishi Eclipse is in last position, but it's okay because the race only just started. Okay, so we're getting a close up of the side. And he's going into the tunnel, which is a really sad moment. Oh, wait, no, he's back to normal again. Okay, so the RXC. <laughs> Mitsubishi Eclipse is actually up into third position. RX8 and the Eclipse. Not it's not an Eclipse. That is a Celica, my friend. I got that wrong completely. Oh, he's going to the inside of the RX8 in the storm drain, and that is the uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse up into second. Right in front of the rotary part Mazda. Oh, he's going to miss the corner and hit the wall as his shadow climbs up. And this is the Eclipse, or the Celica that, oh my god, what's the difference? This is Celica's right behind the RX-8 in the tunnel, here comes the Eclipse. The Eclipse is diving for the RX- This is so sad, guys, he's in front, but it's okay because the Celica- Celica's going to be right behind in second, third- <laughs> Who's it going to be? They're side by side and they're going to, he's going by the outside. There's been a hit! And now he's back again. But it's okay because the Lexus has the lead now. That's the first. Okay, so now here's a view from the Celica as that's, that's a really sad moment as the uh, Eclipse overtakes, but it's okay, so the Celica's back up as well, but it's really sad. Okay, now back to normal again. Exciting, not sad. Celica is right behind as they all hit each other inside the tunnel following the Eclipse story, and that is the uh, Celica in front. Wow. Okay. And heading down the storm drain for the final time, it is the Celica that leads from the Eclipse, from the RX-8, from the Lexus, which is now actually in front of the RX-8, which uh, has the RX-8 back in front again, but not to worry, because we're on the, one of the second to the last, third to last corners, I, I think, the Eclipse is in the lead. It's through this corner, the Celica is there, he's gonna hold it as he goes up the hill, this is gonna be such a sad finish, guys, this is a sad moment, I'm crying my eyes out right now, it's so sad. And across the line, and he's won the race, and I uh, don't know who came second, but it was very good, and I very much enjoyed that one. That was great. I think that's the only bit of this game I've unironically enjoyed so far. But then, the unthinkable happened. This game has police, and just to one-up Need for Speed Heat's cops, these cops can bust you while you're doing over 80 miles per hour. <laughs> because that's how that works. But it's okay, because there's literally zero repercussions. Hey, baby. You know I got a thing for bad boys and fast cars? You oh yeah, there's girlfriends in this game, isn't there? Apparently in this universe, you can pick up women by driving around in a circle collecting checkpoints. I can tell you from experience that no matter how convincing this may seem, it does not work like this in real life. Whoa, that was awesome! Yeah, you like how I missed half of them, didn't you? Apparently she did, so now it's time to return to the warehouse. <laughs> So, um, the girls in this game have more stats than the cars do. Kyla, stats 34, 24, 33. I have literally no idea what any of those mean. Kyla loves guys who are a challenge, strong, and sensitive. So everything that I'm not then. Okay. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh. Am I- oh, god. Am I allowed to show this on YouTube? I, I don't think I am. Are you fucking kidding me? I have little enough ads as it is, please stop. So the redeeming factor of this game to the player is that your endless suffering is rewarded with softcore pornography. So that's great. And that's the game. That is literally the game. You get- you drive cars and you get porn. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. Everything I asked for. I literally have nothing else to say. That is the game. That is it. I don't understand why anyone would have chosen this game over Need for Speed Underground, Street Legal Racing, or any other street racing game of the same era. I mean, hell, this game came out a week before Burnout 3. Imagine if you spent your pocket money on this shit, rather than waiting a week and getting what would turn out to be one of the most beloved PS2 era racing games ever made. I did also go into free play mode to see what that was like. I chose the pre-tuned Supra, and it was probably the worst thing I've ever driven. So the rest kind of speaks for itself. You know what? No, that's it. No, that's it. I can't take any more. I'm done with this. No, I'm done. No more. Play Juiced instead.